Hello Universe, it's Gypsy. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is my Pan That Palette of the Week video. Last week's palette was a Z palette, a homemade Z palette that I put together out of Mary Kay, Ofra, Revlon, LA Colors, either Sally Girl or um, Elf and what appear to be Maybelline, possibly Almay, I can't recall. But I'm going to have to play with this again this week and I'll show you why. I had three colors in the corner that were fractured when I depotted them and they went to powder and I had to get some of the powder out, especially black and gold, and I put them in containers like this this is where I keep shattered products or loose powders. So this corner occupied my week. These three that got shattered occupied my week. And for the very first time today, I was able to reach into another color, this copper color, because I was trying to use up the powder that I couldn't get out of this pan because it was kind of scattered. I finally got it all cleaned up. I had to separate the gold from the black and the brown or gray and get it all cleaned up and get it out of there and I was basically using a tiny brush like this to pick up the black in between the pans just to not waste it because I, I mean it really went everywhere guys. So I spent the week doing that I really feel like I only got to play with those three colors and I want to reach into the rest of these colors at least one application. I got to wear the copper today on the eyelid. I think it's pretty. Um, I, what I did is I took um, the brown from my pan as old as time, lined the eyes, and then I reached into the inner eyelid and traced it up and drew like a Cleopatra pattern. I think Kid Ash did it on his channel, and I did it in the set in the 1990s. That was the thing to do in the 1990s, and then leave a really light color on the lid. Anyway, I went over it with the gold because there was still a lot of loose gold, and I basically went from the eye lash all the way up to the brow with the gold. Then I went back in and put some copper on the lid, and I reached into a really light colored eyebrow highlight because it just looked like too much gold. I couldn't see the differentiation in the colors and I picked it up from my Throwback 30 project and reached in. So it just got a limited amount of play. I didn't get to reach into the Mary Kays at all. I didn't reach into these um, glitters at all. I didn't reach oh, into the pink. I didn't reach into the over. I just didn't get to reach into it. So I'm going to play with it again this week and see if I can get some reach and touch on the other colors and come back and report on report to you um, how they play, how well they played. Of course I had fallout with those shattered colors and it's been a challenge all week using the products that got damaged. Um, trying to save as much as I can in the other containers. Um, and I can always repress those later. The pans were bent. I couldn't really get a good repress on them. I tried that, I think, last week, and I couldn't get a good repress on them. When the pans are warped like that, they just keep breaking over and over again. So I feel like I've got some good cleanup on it, but I'm going to play with it again this week. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and supporting this project. I really appreciate your time and attention. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope, you, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I do live on a coastal state. I know that some of you are aware that Dorian is off the coast and it's making its way towards Florida. It's already hit the Bahamas. Um, we could possibly get some of that. I'm about an hour and a half, whoops, sorry, from the coast. Um, we might get spinoff tornadoes depending on how it hits. Um, and we're just going to hunker down and, uh, of course, move things around the, like, the outside. We don't have to shutter our houses or anything like that like you do if you live directly on the coast. 
Um, we just have to move things around like lawn furniture on porches and stuff like that and kind of get it projectile proof, I guess is what you'd say, from high winds like anybody would have, like anyone who lives where there's possibility of high winds. So um, I'll see you guys in a week with another, hopefully with an update on the rest of these colors and pull another palette in to play with. Have a great weekend. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you again in a week. Toodaloo.